It's still playing. Um, Mr. Carter, could you move your mask just so we can hear you? All right. Thank you. Thank you. The step plan, um, I'm here to speak about step plan in relation as far as to the personnel issues we have with the city of Greensboro. Um, our departments um, for some time now have been, have high turnover. Um, I remember one point in time, I mentioned that to a director here, it's not here today, of turnover that's in our sections and our departments. Um, but we do have that now, uh, right? I know some time ago, not too long ago, 15, we were down 15 workers in sanitation. We're down workers in street maintenance, paving section. We actually had three guys, new guys start today, which I probably feel like they're not going to be there long because they're going to get paid somewhere better, which usually what happens, guys leave. We train guys and they leave and go somewhere else. Um, we're having trouble filling in people for leave program. They'll be pulling guys from the street maintenance and uh, store work crews. We move into that. So now we have guys having to try to get that work done from other supervisors like me. You know, having to do somebody else's stuff as well with short personnel. Um, so, yeah, that the step plan as far as years of service, um, we had some guys. The guys have been there for a while. We're having people in the door who are seem to be either now up to or close to or passing. Some guys have been here for a long time. I only ask them with the years of service step plan is to make those adjustments for those guys who have been here for some time so there'll be a little bit of um, – to be a little bit different from those, those guys have been um, or are new and coming in the door. Um, it has caused division. It's caused a lot of uh, issues and anger of some guys. Um, and I've got some of the folks that are sharing some things, um, share some things with me about it, um, and they feel like it's unfair. Um, I know you guys voted it. You know, you vote for it and you went for it. But I think the people who were in charge to make it work was the ones that said it, you know, were doing, it was doomed from the start. Some of the folks didn't even go on in the first place. And now that you leave that to them to do to make it work or come up with a plan, it seemed like their thoughts and everything have been washed over this whole step plan. You can see it in every little bit of detail in it. Um, you have supervisors. When the information come down from the top, supervisors were sharing it with guys in their own view, not what was on the paper or what was said, but in their own view. I know you guys had uh, directors, uh, HR them had the uh, surveys put out about the step plan. My thing is, if we're going to do um, surveys, so let's have surveys on do years of cyber service matter. And ask workers that. Um, ask about, do you think that uh, steel workers need longevity again? Uh, this is the second time I've been hired to another place where uh, we lose out on longevity. I worked for the state. Longevity was lost the year right before I got there. Now, Kim City was the same thing. Um, years of service matter. Um, um, I'm looking at it like this every day I come to work. I'm not sure if I even want to stay here for the long term. Uh, but I just want you guys to understand that your service matters really. Thank, Thank you. Just a payment.